What's up guys, Jeff from The Graph Life. Uh, been a pretty long time since I did a video. Um, got a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I, I had some here for quite some time, and then other stuff uh, just finally started to come in. And I wanted to do a little bit of a different video, but then I got more mail, so I'm gonna do a mail video and kind of combine the two. I was gonna do a video where I was gonna say, hey, uh, when you guys get stuff in the mail, you can actually reuse a lot of the uh, the contents uh, and what I mean by that is you know if someone uh, sends you a package in a bubble mailer you can you know obviously you're gonna rip it open but you can reuse that and put it inside another bubble mailer which will give you a little bit more protection um, which is essentially what uh, this guy did uh, I'm not it's the card dreamer by the way uh, sorry I didn't mean to say this guy but that's what the card dreamer did so check him out he sent to me which is awesome he Wrote it to the Graph Life, which is really cool. Uh, but you can see right here, it was cut. And it was cut here, and he taped it, and then I ripped it open there. So it gives you some extra... Uh, obviously, this was already reused, so I'm not going to reuse it. But it gives you some extra um, protection. Uh, but he sent me some really cool stuff. Uh, I'm going to reopen it here. I, I don't know why, but I always open my mail first, because you never know. Uh, but some awesome rookie cards here. I got a uh, Ramon Martinez, Sandy Alomar Jr. Now this one, I don't know if it's considered a rookie. I know it's a future star. Uh, it's a Derek Jeter future star, which is an awesome card. Either way, I don't care. That's a sweet card. Um, my rookie collection is growing. Uh, and here's a few more rookies. Uh, they're, they're actually both Hall of Famers. Uh, we got uh, Randy Johnson and uh, John Smoltz. But this, this is the one that got me the most excited um, because it's my, for my birthday collection and at first I didn't realize it but he has card number three card number six and card number eight in each one of these um, penny sleeves from that particular year which which was super cool uh, so I have uh, 89 pro set so I want to do from 88 until current so I'm just, I'm just gonna keep going but three six and 88 so I have 89 Pro Set Football, um, 2006 Donruss Playoff, or two, that's the score, Why oh, it says Donruss Playoff, whatever, 2006 score, football, um, 92 Fleer uh, Basketball, and this one, this actually was really cool, the uh, 91 <coughs> Fleer Ultra. Because I didn't know that card number 88 is actually Dan Marino and I collect him. So I'm going to have to go pick up that card again. So it fits into my collection twice. And then uh, 1989 Upper Deck cards numbers 3, 6, and 88. I'm not going to take them out because they're already organized. So I'll just put them in my binder. Uh, then I got a box, which I'm probably going to reuse for storage. Maybe to ship stuff out, never know. From uh, COMC, check out my cards. Uh, two random cards here that, I mean, well, one will fit my collection if I get it signed, uh, but Tomas Vokun to send TTM, and, uh, oops, Rick DiPietro also to send TTM. Uh, for my dual sport collection, I got a Charlie Ward. For the, uh, Syracuse collection, Josh Pace autograph. There, oh, wow, that was good. It, online, it was kind of like this weird glare. So I was like, oh, you can't even see the auto. But that's how it looks in person. It really pops, actually. Uh, so pretty pumped about that. He was a big part of the uh, 2003 National Championship team. Uh, then I got another auto for the Syracuse collection. Chris McCullough. Uh, a couple of Dan Marino pickups. Uh, nothing crazy, but newer stuff. Uh, newer inserts. This is him with Drew Brees. Uh, didn't have this Greg Dobbs from uh, 2008 tops so i'll go into my phillies tops collection uh for the uh 76ers pc i got a justin anderson auto uh numbered out of 299 uh this is card number six out of the 88 tops uh nolan ryan i didn't i have three in 88 i didn't have number six so i had to pick that up uh for my penguins pc i got this autograph out of 299 also that was a lucky number i guess Oscar Sundquist, it's a nice looking autograph there, no longer with the team, but 
I thought it was a sweet card. Uh, then I got a couple of uh, Diamond Kings here. I got Mark Langston, newly inducted into the Hall of Fame, Harold Baines, and uh, Robin Ventura for my Diamond Kings sets that I'm working on. I want to I want to put all of them together. So from, I believe it's 81 until current. I'm not positive on that, but I believe it is uh, 81 when they first started that. And then, um, haven't done a lot of hockey collecting, but I really love the Masked Men, and I've been trying to put a lot of them together. I picked up uh, three out of the fourth series of it, I got uh, Rick DiPietro, ooh, bad glare again, uh, Dwayne Rollison, and uh, Curtis Sanford, and then I, I forget how many I picked up out of the uh, the sixth one, but there's, let's see, two, three, four, six of them, that's, that's kind of funny, so I got uh, Daniel Elshuler, uh, Mike Smith, Ty Conklin, John Garrett, Jake Patterson and uh, Tuka Rask. Always loved goalie masks, always. So I had to do, you know, start putting those sets together because I wanted to collect more hockey. And I figured that'd be really cool. Want to do all those sets as well. Gonna take me a long time to finish all this stuff, but uh, definitely fun. Uh, and then for my rookie card collection, I really want to get into getting them slabbed. I don't know why. But that's why it came in the box. I got a couple of slabs. Pretty cheap. And no, they're not nines. They're not tens. Uh, well, one, two or a nine. But I got, I have one six. And I'm okay with it. I mean, it's going into my collection. No big deal. Um, but, Mike O, you got me hooked onto slabs for some reason. I don't know. And Eric from Jab's Family, you have me hooked on rookie cards. And so now your brother's doing it. So I'm, I'm watching rookie card videos all the time. But it's fun. I actually think that it's going to be a, a fun little collection to put together. I uh, picked up this 89 Donruss, uh, Near Mint Mint 8 of uh, Randy Johnson. Uh, then this card you saw earlier, the 89 Upper Deck. This is the one that got the uh, excellent Mint 6, is uh, Randy Johnson. Um, I didn't really see a lot wrong with it besides it's, you know, left to right is, is off. Uh, I don't know if you could see that, but... Otherwise, I didn't see any kind of dings on the corners or anything like that, but, you know, that's why I don't grade them. <laughs> uh, then from 1990 Upper Deck, uh, Sammy Sosa. Uh, that one got a mint nine. And uh, pick this one up. I, I've, I've mostly been doing stars. I mean, he is a star, but you never know. He might drop off. Uh, I don't think so, though. And didn't know this, but his dad played for the Yankees. I remember his dad, but I didn't think that they were related. Just thought it was a common last name. But picked up this 2017 Tops Update, Cody Bellinger, Mint uh, 9. So glad to add those to my rookie card collection, which is growing quite a bit. Um, I want to get most of them slabbed. Oh, wait, hold on. I have some random stuff, too. Did a Facebook deal. <clears throat> Cards took forever to get to me. Uh, I, I don't know if they were ever going to unless I called them out. Uh, but picked up a Severino Gonzalez autograph for my Phillies PC. And then this guy, for some reason, never got him in person, even though I saw him. Steven Sussdorf um, for the Phillies PC as well. And then a few cards from my buddy Frank. He knows that I do uh, collect guys named Jeff. So he sent me this uh, relic out of 189 of Jeff Francoeur. And dual sport guys. So he sent me this Russell Wilson. Uh, pretty cool insert. Hog Heaven. Uh, so now that's everything, and I'm going to reuse the top loader for something else. <laughs> but that's my video for today. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and remember you can reuse the stuff that you got in the mail as long as you do it properly. And I'll probably do another video just to show you different ways to use things. Um, but it is possible. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.